In the dialysis unit in the permacap, that is the tunneled hemodialysis catheter, since it is going to be in situ in the patient for a long period of time, it is very very important to avoid the infection. So that is why antibiotic lock is used. Whereas in a simple catheter, we might not use the antibiotic lock, we use only the heparin. Whereas in permacath, that is tunnel subcutaneous catheter, we have to give antibiotic along with the heparin so as to avoid the infection in the patient. In that, we can use antibiotics like gentamicin, vancomycin, or the cephalosporin group also. But today we are going to discuss regarding how to make the gentamicin lock solution. Not only the antibiotic heparin should also be there, so as to avoid clotting inside the catheter also. Okay. Before uh, looking at the antibiotic, we will see why this antibiotic solution is important. Because if only heparin lock is given inside the catheter, there is a chance of bacterial growth or over a long period of time. What is that long period? Over 3 months, 6 months or subsequently there is a risk of infection. So that is why very vigilant to give uh, antibiotic solution in the permacath. So regarding the antibiotic, if you take gentamicin, it comes in 2 or 3 formulation. 1 ml equal to 10 mg, 2 ml equal to 20 mg or in this vial, 2 ml, equal eight, 2 ml contains 80 mg. Okay. So any formulation you can take, let us see in this example, let us take 1 ml equal to 40 mg. So gentamicin, so this is heparin. 1 ml equal to 1000 international unit. This vial contains 5 ml, 5000 international unit. So in the syringe, take 1 ml of this gentamicin, which is 40 mg, and 4 ml of heparin. So 5 ml in total. Let me tell you again. Take 1 ml of this gentamicin, which contains 40 mg, 4 ml of heparin, which contains 4000 unit. Mix it in the 5 ml syringe. So 5 ml is there. This 5 ml you can use to give the antibiotic lock solution. So how much to give? If you look at the permacath, something is written on the hub only. Like in the lock, if you rotate it, you will able to see. A equal to 1.5 cc, A equal to 1.9 cc, these kind of values might be given. What is that called? That is called the priming volume. Is nothing but amount of fluid that particular catheter can tolerate above which it enters the circulation. That is the particular fluid it can accommodate, we can say. So it will be written in the permacath itself 1.9 cc, 2.1 cc. A means arterial line, V means venous line. So already we have prepared a 5 ml solution. You from that syringe, you give 1.9 cc or 2.1 cc, whatever is written inside the lumen so that it won't enter the circulation. So that lock solution contains gentamicin and heparin. So what is the heparin composition in that particular ml? In that final solution, 1 ml equal to 800 international unit of heparin approximately and gentamicin 1 ml equal to approximately we can say 8 to 10 milligram. So this much composition will be there because of which both antibiotic coverage, heparin coverage will be given in that particular catheter. And this is how you have to prepare. And whenever the formulation changes, there are some uh, vial where 1 ml equal to 10 mg might be there. In that, accordingly, you can calculate the dose and prepare this. And that's all regarding the gentamicin lock solution for the permacat. Bye-bye. We'll see in the next video.